Okay, so what we're doing is I'm going to walk you guys through how I assemble pallets uh, for beekeeping. So I brought in an example here. This is an example of a two-way pallet that I built uh, last winter. I don't think I ended up even using this one. But uh, I decided to go with two-way pallets because I'm not doing you know, my, you know, migratory beekeeping and, and, and two-way pallets make a little bit more sense uh, for me at my out yards. There's also different ways of doing the center here. You can buy clips that are just like a U and they don't have this space here. So the way that this is, when you put you know two boxes in here like this, obviously there's a space in between them, which I prefer. Uh, and there's other ones that they just butt, you know, kind of right up next to each other. Um, you also, you don't have to really use these W clips either. You can get by with just uh, like putting little nails to help guide your boxes in. That's one option. Um, this is how I've done a lot of them. The one we're doing today, I think I'll just put nails because I don't have any more of these W clips, but I'll get this out of the way. And I'll show you guys how I do it. So this right here is a little jig that I've got just permanently fastened to my workbench here. And the way this works is I can take the two by fours that make up the center portion of the pallet and just put them in here, uh, you know, during the assembly. So you'll need three two by fours, and these are uh, 23 inches long. I guess they don't have to be two by fours. Uh, you can maybe get like uh, uh, two by mm, two by threes or or something. But two by fours are what I can find and salvage. You know, these were cutoffs or these were used before. I just kind of use whatever. If I've got something that's broken like this, I'll I'll probably uh, stick it up in the middle. So I'll just stick these in here like this. And then now we're ready to put our uh, piece of plywood down or you don't have to necessarily use a full piece of plywood and I'll show you that. Because what I've got today is actually two pieces that are gonna make up the bottom instead of just one. Now you can obviously cut out one piece that's exactly the right size and that would be uh, for this pallet 33 and a quarter by 21 inches. We're just using two pieces of wood just to show you that you can do that. It doesn't have to be one. And uh, so this is basically lined up and ready to go. And I've got these spacers back over here, which hold off the front exactly what I need here. Actually, this is the back of the pallet. So that's the spacing that I want my two by fours to stick out past the back of the pallet. <clears throat> and that's for if you're moving them so there's some airflow. Uh, between the, the boxes as, as if I stack them up against each other. But like I said, this isn't necessarily a video on how to use pallets. This is just kind of maybe hopefully some uh, tips to help assembling them, make uh, assembling them a little bit easier. So I like to screw these on. So I'll do that real quick. And I'm just going to use leftover screws from something else, you know. All of this stuff that I'm using is, is basically salvaged material. Okay, so we've got that screwed on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get... So I've color coordinated these so that you can kind of see that uh, some of these pieces are, are, are cut exactly to the same dimension. So these pink ones are 19 and 7 eighths. Uh, by three eighths, and of course this this way is the width of your box, uh, you know, three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to start by putting this one over here on one side, and I'll get some glue. Uh, just in a little while, and I just use the tight bond too, and I'm not real exact about this. I just put the glue on and go for it. I'm not. We're not cabinet building here. I'm not gonna brush this on or anything. And then I'm gonna get the uh, staple gun. I guess I could have prepared for this since I didn't accidentally hit record on the camera, but at any rate. And I'm using I don't know, these are one inch, but you can get by with using the shorter staple, I'm sure. That's just what I grabbed here. 
Okay, and then this one is gonna just kind of go right up to the back of the pallet here. And I, I, you know, these these are cut out of you know old boards and stuff, so they're a little bowed. So I kind of work my way down and stretch that as I go. Put them where I think they need to. Then I'm gonna get my uh, my back piece. This one is 31 and uh, three quarters long, and then the other ways it's the same. That's the one we just put on. I'm gonna glue this as well. And I just put a nice little stretch of glue on there. Hope my camera doesn't uh, run out of space. I'm not gonna leave my finger there for that to get in there. Okay, so I've got that on. Now I've got um, this little kind of jig here, and this is basically uh, what's going to kind of help me square up this this first section here. So this way it's 18 and a quarter. This way it's uh, 14 and 5 16 so it looks like, and that brings us to our middle piece. And this one you can kind of see. This is of course made out of scrap lumber as well, but this you can see I've notched for those W clips. You don't have to notch for the W clips. And if you're not using W clips, obviously you don't have to notch, but that's just kind of how I've done it. The notch is basically the size of that, the base of that W clip. So, you know, this way, uh, this piece of wood is, uh, looks like it's two and a quarter. And those W clips apparently are two inches. Like I've written on here. So I'm gonna glue this one as well. Not being too crazy exact about it. And I think on this particular jig that I've got, it's a little bit off, so I'm gonna push that out there. But it's not a, it's not exact, but there we go. And uh, it looks like I put a staple where a, uh, a screw was there, but I just don't want to put a staple right where I might want to put a W clip, but uh, I don't think I'm using a W clip on this one. So, And then, you know, this is the size for that over there, but we don't really need this anymore because we're just going to line this one up with the edge of the uh, pallet. So I'll just line it up with the corner of the pallet. Shoot that in there. And adjust this if I need to. Okay. And then this one goes on the front here. And glue it as well. And the thing about this is. We've got another spacer. So this is the spacer for our opening right here. So that's the width that I want my opening. And that is five and three quarters. It looks like it's a little strong, uh, five and three quarters. I put a plus mark on there. And I'll just stick this in here in the middle and try to get it, you know, I just kind of eyeball, you know, it doesn't have to be exact. You know, you could put a straight edge across this, but you know, for me, that'd be just kind of a waste of time. But get it pretty close this is really bowed so that's why I'm kind of holding that like that and then I'll actually try to pull this out I'm just gonna eyeball it it's not that big of a deal. that in so it's fairly straight I just put a little extra in that because of how bent it was so that, that glue can set and then this should you know be the same size over here which it is and it's kind of important for me to get these two uh, the same size because I use a little spacer when I treat and stick in the front entrance and block the uh, oxalic acid from coming out and also to stick my uh, vaporizer in there so I like those to be the same and uh, that's the size opening that I chose you can make this whatever size you want and get a bigger opening if, if, if you so choose but I just do this for convenience because it's the same exact length as, as these three and so when I'm cutting on the on the miter saw I can just run a bunch of them through and don't really have to think about it or have a different size piece to make so okay so we did all that okay so now we are going to flip this thing over and we're 
we're going to put the uh, pieces across the bottom of this pallet. And I've built basically just a little marking uh, jig for that. And this is just three inches. And I'll show you why here in a second. But uh, if you're going to make your own little marking jig like this, just make it three inches both ways. So it doesn't really matter which way you turn it. And then I can just sit over here and just mark all these. And if I actually turn it the other way, it doesn't matter. It's three inches, no matter which way I turn it. And uh, that's how that works. And these are 33 and a quarter is what these are here. And I like to screw these as well. These have a tendency to split though. So I'm going to actually probably pre-drill these on here. Okay. And these are uh, these are deck screws that I pulled off of the deck, believe it or not. And but the the importance is uh, that they are exterior, you know, grade. We'll stop right there because we're running out of time. So that's basically it. I'll, I'll put a few more screws in there, but the pallet's done. Let me go grab some. Uh, well, actually, I'll show you this little tip. If uh, this is a Bodar candle, by the way, that I built. But anyway, if you don't have W clips, you can just use nails and, and you know, the way I like to do it is to just put them right there in the corner, angle a little bit, but then you can kind of bend them in and that'll help you just guide those boxes down on there. So kind of put them in the corner, bend them over just a little bit. And then uh, oh, let's do one over here like that. And I lost the other one, but you got to kind of just pull this one in just a little bit and put it there. So. Let me go grab some lids because we're we're about to run out of uh, space on that memory card. I want to demonstrate on this pallet here kind of why we did those space like that. So you can see this one's got the nails, and that'll just kind of help just kind of sink that in there. So if you've got lids on this you're going to stack the pallet this is spaced properly for it to sit in between here and you still got some space but that just keeps it sturdy if you're stacking multiple ones and then like i said we got those nails there you can just kind of those just kind of help you guide that in to where it sits in there and it's not going to come off so Hopefully you found that helpful. Hopefully this card is still recording. Let's see. Oh yeah, we got four minutes. We could have done more stuff, but yeah. So hopefully this kind of gives you some ideas on how you can streamline and make putting stuff together like this a little bit easier. Um, obviously all of this is just built out of just scrap lumber that uh, I've salvaged um, and now I've turned it into something uh, useful here. Hey, so I did want to let you know real quick, I do have a video on how to uh, build uh, lids, like migratory lids, like what you saw me use in this demonstration. If you think that might be useful, I'd love for you to go watch that video. I'll put a link to it right here on this little in-card section. And uh, thanks again for watching.